Heller, Reese Heller competing here at 184. And for North Carolina, Nick, Gavin Kane unavailable tonight. So Sabino Portella, a true freshman who has not competed since November the 19th, provides the opposition for Heller. Yeah, which is upsetting because Gavin Kane against Heller would have been a really fun match to watch. But now Portella has an opportunity to try and do something really special and also just get better. I mean, this is one of the top 10 wrestlers in the country at 184. We've already seen his brother wrestle. They're both very talented. So Portella with a chance to get better today and also make it hard for Heller. Make it as hard as he possibly can, last as long as you can. If you can come away with an upset win, all the best. Aggression there from Portella, native of Oceanport, New Jersey, two and five so far this season. As we said, has not competed since November the 19th and is on a five bout losing streak. Quick timeout to go receive attention from the medical staff. North Carolina already has a pair of upsets. We told you about Guanajuato. Jaden Scott also unranked, beating number 28 Finn Solomon. That was at 149. But given the fact that Centennialo at 133, Solomon at 149 are both wrestlers ranked in the 20s and facing wrestlers who are a little more experienced, especially in the case of Jaden Scott, this matchup here, if Portella is to get the job done against Heller, that would be the biggest upset. 100%. That would be a huge upset. I'm interested to watch the right shoulder of Portella because after going down on that roll, he quickly grabbed that right shoulder and then was checking it out. So don't know if something might have popped. Just keeping an eye on that. Now one point for Heller. Move his head. Portella. Fingers. Get him fingers, guys. Pausing. Fingers. Focusing. Fingers! Here in fingers, they don't want to see those fingers interlocked. Just grabbing hands. Obviously, you can get those tangled, and no one wants to get hurt or break anything, so refs being cautious of that. Heller. The position he's in here. Porcella. Hanging on. Walking into the edge of the mat now. Hammers him down. Porcella. Withstands the shot. And Heller was able to face up there. Kept Portella from getting another first period takedown. It's been the theme of the night for the Tar Heels, early takedowns, enabling them to have success. And that's one thing you notice about great wrestlers is that when you're in on a leg, it's not over. There's a lot of wrestlers, they're in on a leg, and they're thinking, oh, where the three points are coming. But when you get a wrestler like Heller and his brother and a lot of these top 20, top 15 guys, they're so good at, even when you get a leg in, they're not gonna let you get three points. Heller earned the escape point after the injury timeout. That'll be the only scoring of this first period in the matchup of a true freshman against a redshirt senior top 10 wrestler. It'll be interesting to see coming into this second period how this looks for Heller. If he may have seen what he wanted to see in that first period, now knows what he's trying to go for. It's gonna be hard for Portella to keep him down. Heller starting down. Shot by Portella to keep the control. It's great for Portella because he gets to rack up some riding time, which 
is better, even if he doesn't get a minute. If I'm Portella, I'd rather riding time in my favor than any riding time in Heller's favor. You don't want to give him any advantage in this one. He builds the riding time up to near 30 seconds. Heller earns the escape point. One leg on Portella, sends him down to the mat. There's three. And that looked like the difference. The way Heller was able to get in on that leg, that's his quickness, his speed, the veteran ability of a guy who's wrestled the best for the last four years. He just looked like he got to that leg with ease. If Portella turns. That's a control. Hey, stay squatted. And Portella wiggles away for the escape point. And now I want Portella to start being aggressive back at Heller because we saw he was almost able to get some takedowns. He can get in on a leg. You know, Heller isn't indestructible he's not unbeatable you can beat good wrestlers you just have to know how and do the right things to get it done and that's why talking to coach ramos a lot of that goes into film stuff just a four point margin here five seconds left both going low what a shot there scrambles away no score in the final few seconds take a look at the takedown here by Heller yeah and Heller just see he just reaches for that low ankle pick didn't even set it up it, like that's that's the difference between the true freshman and the red shirt senior he just goes down doesn't even touch the head doesn't try to do a pick goes in grabs that ankle because he wanted it gets three points So Portella gets away, takes the escape point. 5-2, and now Portella is a takedown away from tying this thing up at five. And we've told you the stakes. True freshman unranked against a top 10 redshirt senior. Portella has nothing to lose here. He doesn't, and I'd like, I want to see him wrestle like that. When you're coming down the stretch, you're down by three right now. Trying to tie this up, maybe send it into, you know, an extra overtime period. You have nothing to lose. You're in it against one of the best wrestlers in the country. Go after it. Also a guy who doesn't get a lot of opportunities behind a really good wrestler in Gavin Kane. He has not competed since November the 19th. Now he's a takedown away. Keeping a foot in, still a foot in, no points, now out, back center. Portella just done a great job of frustrating Heller. This is not a match where he's gotten everything he's wanted, and this is really impressive from a true freshman. Riding time will not be a factor. Portella in on the ankle, but he's fully flat. He's got to get up. to find some way to go after the left leg of Heller. Stalemate back to neutral with 20 seconds. And that's the call he's going to want to see. Puts them right back at neutral. He can be aggressive with 15 seconds left. He's got to go after it. Heller stepping away. Portella, does he have one more shot in him? will try and change levels and go low here. Four seconds of three, got to go. And Heller is going to step away. But what an impressive performance nonetheless for Sabino Portella. Reese Heller, the number nine wrestler in the nation, earns a decision win. And three more big points for Pitt. What a great job by Portella. I mean, all respect to Heller. He gets the win. He's one of the best in the country. But Portella, as a true freshman, just went up against a redshirt senior who's the ninth-ranked wrestler at their weight class, and he did not get rolled by any means. Five to two.